Hi y'all, welcome back to the shop. Ronan and I are getting a late start this morning. I was up through the wee hours shopping for one-off welding wire and Anderson connectors and lugs, four gauge wire, and all kinds of parts. And suddenly discovered it was five o'clock in the morning and I hadn't gone to bed yet. So I went to bed and about 7.30, Rona decided she wanted me up. So I may be moving a little slow today, but today's gonna have some exciting things. We've got a few, uh, got a few things that showed up today. The big brown truck drove up and And we've got six big boxes full of big hybrid inverters for our future. Whoa, come back here. Come on, don't do that to me. Oh, that's better. I got one of these new fancy devices that gets a little bit confusing to me. And the big brown truck also brought me a new power supply that I get to assemble. This will charge a 48 volt battery at 18 amps, which means that I can charge that battery up in about 15 hours. That's good. I've got 12 of them to deal with, so I have a bunch of chargers and testers and there's gonna be, the cells are gonna show up and if everything goes according to plan, I'm gonna be very busy testing and such. But for now, I'm gonna continue working on these boxes. Today, we got it all Got it all worked out yesterday with all the parts cut out. And now today, we're going to put rabbits. Did you hear rabbits? Rona, rabbits. We're gonna put rabbits in the edges of the boards to help tie them together more securely. And I don't have a really good way of doing that. A nice sharp dado blade would be good. What I have is a dado blade from 1970-something. And I think it was sharp back then. Well, we're going to see if we can make it work. I set it up. It seems to be cutting, even though it is really, really dull. But I've run a test. And it seems to make a joint that looks like it's going to hold together okay. So, time for me to make some rabbits. Well, not the kind Rona chases. Each of these side pieces is going to need a rabbit cut in one end of it. And then the back piece is going to need, I'm sorry, the front piece is going to need a cut, a rabbit cut on both ends. So the rabbit on the side pieces is going to be used for the connection to the back piece which means when I cut this rabbit I want to choose where I cut it based on what I want to be the top and what I want to be the outside this outside doesn't have any footballs in it 
This has a foot ball and a little scarring, so I want that inside the box. And that looks like a nice clean edge, so I'm going to cut the rabbit right here. I'm going to think about it twice before I do it because I really don't want to make a mistake. So yes, the front is going to go all the way to the outside. The front are 18 inches. The backs are 17 and a quarter. So I'm going to have a 3 8 deep rabbit here and a 3 8 deep rabbit there. So this is where I'm putting the wrap, right here. I don't have a filler plate in. I'm not going to get near it. That filler plate will help support the piece if it's absolutely perfect with this table. When I'm cutting these potatoes or rabbits, the depth is really critical, and if that filler piece rises up a little, it can throw off the depth of my rabbit. And that can happen with sawdust getting in here, or sawdust just getting in between my piece and the, and the filler plate. So I could make, I don't have a filler plate for a dado blade for this saw, and I could make one out of half inch plywood, but I'm not going to. And this is a sacrificial fence that I have clamped on to the fence of the table saw. That way I can raise the dado blade up in and it's perfectly set without scarring my fence. So let's cut a couple of these and see how it works out.
how that's going to work out for us. And then this end, front piece, we'll get a dado at each end. piece is going to be kind of important. You're going to see it most of all. So I'm going to choose what is the top or what is the outside and what is the top. Yeah, I like this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do one at each end. So, what we have now is a stronger joint than we would have if we just butted it. 
we've got a half lap joint in each corner. This will make that joint stronger when we glue it together because it'll have a shoulder for the glue to grab. And then in the back, same thing. When we get done fastening these together, we'll come in and we'll knock this edge down with a round over bit. And that's not to make it look better. I prefer the look of it nice and crisp. That's to help it absorb dings and abuse without damaging the veneers. That will help a lot with that. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all the sides and get them glued up. Then I'm going to decide if I want to also dado the bottom. I don't have to. I could just glue and fasten the bottom onto these sides. If I do a half lap joint on the bottom, it will be a little stronger, but in a way that the box in this situation isn't going to need to be stronger. Oh, Rona. <laughs> and uh, I'll make that determination then. Doing it on the bottom will mean getting those joints absolutely perfect all the way around. Whereas if I don't do that, I have a little bit of fudge factor that I can use when I attach the bottom. Uh, I can get it to where it's not absolutely perfect and then I can fix it up with sandpaper. If I get the joint wrong, it could leave a gap or force the sides apart or force me to make adjustments to get it to fit nicely. I will probably do it, but I'll make that determination later. If I decide to do the joint uh, in the bottom, the depth of the box will be 3 eighths of an inch less, but I have an extra inch and a half or so on this depth of this box, so it's uh, inconsequential. All right, well, Ron and I are gonna get back to work. Come here, girl. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Say goodbye, Rona. <laughs> yeah. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Such a good girl.